Hello, everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, sent a little uh, video uh, email out to you guys, but um, uh, we just recently got our mid year numbers uh, for June. Wanted to kind of go over a couple things with you and give you a few updates on where we're at and uh, our plans and let you know how we're doing. Uh, first off, I, I wanted to go through a couple things. Um, uh, some of the changes we, we've done recently, you know, with a lot of changes uh, with in the last two years with selling the truck stops, uh, with Chuck passing away, having to deal with the estate and all the, the events surrounding that, uh, the splitting of the companies, we had a lot of moving parts going on there that you know really caused a lot of uh, uh, a lot of work on everyone's end to get all of our ducks in a row and get everything uh, rolling smooth again. Um, we compounded that with uh, actually our first quarter of 2013 this year was, in fact, I know it was, it was the worst quarter uh, that we've ever had in company's history. It just was not good. Uh, we compounded a lot of uh, issues uh, with taxes uh, because of the sale, because of the split, because of Chuck that, that hit us right at that point. Uh, along with um, an economy that really tanked in uh, in that first quarter, so uh, needless to say, we when we saw where things were going is when we took some aggressive actions of uh, some changes that we felt we needed to do in order to to, to stem that uh, that problem that we were having in that first quarter. So we, we aggressively went out with that. We looked at every aspect of our business, what was working, what wasn't working. Uh, were we overstaffed? Were we understaffed? Um, were our facilities up to standards? Uh, uh, did we have enough locations in order to support everything we had going on? So we, we really had an in-depth study of everything we did. And, uh, you know, late into that, that first quarter is when we, we started implementing a lot of changes. Uh, a lot of new policies, some, some changes in staffing, um, and uh, some pricing that we made some adjustments on. And uh, from what I'm seeing right now as of mid-year, those were the correct actions. Um, uh, June was a, was a very strong month. Uh, May was also very good, too, in, in just about every division. Um, sales has still been soft in most every division. Uh, the real question mark on that is: is it a is it a market driven issue? Is it the economy, or is it simply um, uh, problems with our own facilities? Um, you know, so we're going to address the sales issues and, and, and implement some things to start driving additional sales. But what we went back and looked at was expense control and maximum maximizing our margins. I will tell you guys did a great job with that. that that's what really turned um, uh, the last uh, what, May and June really around was uh, were those points that we implemented. Um, so happy to see that. Uh, I'm happy that we got that first quarter under us, and that we we kind of uh, did a lot of self reflection and said, you know. Where are we going? What are we going? And it's not just short term. We were looking, where do we want to go 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? And, uh, you know, we have a clear picture of that now. We, I think we know which markets that we're strong in. Um, and, and it's not just about those markets. We're, we're looking for markets that, that we can be successful in, that, um, that we can have a future in. Uh, we're just not hanging on by our fingernails here, just surviving. Um, so that's why we've, we've made some of the changes we've done and you know so far I've been real happy uh, with the last two months of numbers and uh, uh, it's really a testament to the, the effort that you and, and your supervisors uh, have done at, at addressing all those issues and uh, I want to say congratulations on that you're doing a great job on that we want to continue with that um, and we're going to continue to look at some new markets. We're going to continue to fine tune our operations a little bit and, and make sure we're structured correctly. We have the, the right people in the right places and, and making the right decisions. 
and, and growing in the markets that are right for us. And uh, but so far, I've been pretty happy. Uh, you know, I, uh, I will tell you that first quarter was ugly. It, it was real ugly uh, in just about every division of the company. But you know, we we closed out uh, mid year strong and. I see that continuing through the rest of the year, so we're happy to see that. And uh, you know, hopefully, we'll be tapping in and talking to you guys a little bit more about uh, some ideas and some things we want to do. We want to make some improvements in locations. We've done a, some really great things recently. Uh, we had several shops that were under construction that are just about finished up now. Some are open. Some will be open very soon. So that's going to help a lot. Uh, you know getting those, those operations up and going. Um, we just recently took over our uh, 50th uh, Pump and Pantry in Bellevue, Nebraska, uh, which has been a great store so far. And uh, we've had great success so far with the uh, Cinnabon implementation we've done. Uh, we've got a couple of motels under remodel right now that are doing very well. Uh, restaurants, uh, sales are off, but you know they've done a great job of keeping uh, margins uh, up and expenses down. Um, so, you know, like I said, we're, we're just kind of hitting on a lot of good cylinders right now and we want to continue that. And, uh, if anything changes, either Brandy or I'll let you know. And, uh, we'll keep in touch on that, but, uh, keep it going. Uh, we've got a lot of good things going right now and we got a lot of neat new plans coming up and, uh, uh we've, we've, Spent a lot of time thinking through those issues, and and uh, just like we did uh, several months ago, and you know those decisions we made made are now starting to bear fruit. So we're we're happy about that. So keep up the good work, guys. And uh, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to you know contact uh, Brandy or I, and um, keep going. Oh, one other thing too. Uh, you might see an article coming out soon, but uh, CSP, which was, uh, uh, it's a convenience store magazine that we all uh, get, trade magazine. They did some secret shopper programs, and uh, this year they actually did uh, chains under 100 stores, and we ranked number one in every single category that they shopped. And I think they shopped our stores about 100 times this year. So uh, we're going to promote that quite a bit. And congratulations to you guys on that. I mean, uh, the guy who interviewed me was, he said he'd never seen scores that high before. So we, uh, you guys did an outstanding job there. And uh, we'll continue to promote that too. So, but, uh, so keep things going guys and uh, keep up the good work. And uh, we'll talk.